Hello and assalamu alaikum once again to my brothers and sisters in Islam. This is another video response to expose the lies and the propaganda, the false propaganda that's getting spread by some Christians to drive people away from Islam after they see how many people are entering Islam and coming to Islam in big numbers, mostly from Christians who were even once pushing that religion after they realize that Trinity does not equal one and that Trinity does not make sense unless you're pre-programmed to think that or you're raised in a Christian family and never gave it another thought. Now they're doing that by again I say spreading false information about Islam and in some cases misinterpreting the verses and the hadith or the sayings of the Prophet peace be upon him. And believe me they're doing that out of envy and when I tell you out of envy trust me because Allah says in the Quran in chapter 2 verse 109 quite a number of the people of the book wish they can turn you back to infidelity after you have believed from selfish envy after the truth has become manifest unto them but forgive and overlook till God accomplishes his purpose for God has all power or God has power over all things now that's what Allah says in the Quran about them so don't worry about them but we have to learn to basically answer these people and expose their lies and if you haven't read about these verses or these hadith that they're, they're, they're quoting you might believe what they say so this is to the Muslims to know how to answer and to the non-Muslims to know the truth so one of the examples that the Christians like to use is verses from the Quran to prove that Islam is a violent religion and and they use verses like 929 chapter 9 verse 29 of the Quran to prove that Islam is a violent religion and in that verse it says something like this fight the non-believers and fight the people of the book until they pay the jizya with willing submissions and feel themselves subdued and they also like to use uh, a hadith or, or a saying of the Prophet peace be upon him like what's in Bukhari volume 1 book 2 number 24 the Prophet peace be upon him says I was commanded to, to fight people until they say none has a right to be worshipped but the one God but Allah and I use these two examples because these are the most used hadith and verse of the Quran by the Christians to prove that Islam is a false religion and that it's a violent religion and it promotes violence and Muslims are supposed to fight non-believers if wherever they are so here are other verses in the Quran which clearly state that you cannot fight unless you're getting fought you as a Muslim can't fight unless you get fought like chapter 2 it says fight for the sake of Allah those who fight you but do not transgress so basically in self-defense and do not transgress and in other verses it says there is no compulsion in Islam in that same chapter it says there is no compulsion in religion so nobody is forced to become Muslim in other verses also it says in like chapter 60 verse 8 through 9 it says God does not forbid you from those who don't drive you out of your homes or fight you that you may be good to them and just to them and God likes those who are just or something like that so basically when we read that to the Christians they say oh there's contradictions in the Quran and look at the contradictions there or they say no 929 abrogates those peaceful verses as they claim because all the Quran is peaceful so coming to 929 and verses like it basically but I'll explain 929 it shows the descriptions of those that are getting fought non-believers fight those who believe not in God or the last day or don't hold basically what's forbidden or don't acknowledge the religion of truth it's, it's showing you the descriptions of those I'm gonna give you an example if there was a drug dealer that just stole a car that just robbed a bank in confrontation with the police after doing all these crimes can the police kill him no they can't they can't kill him for for stealing they can put him away but if that drug dealer shoots the cop then the other cop says shoot that drug dealer shoot that thief shoot that robber 
he's he's given a description of that person but the, that person had already committed a crime which is what the Christians did they killed the messenger of the Prophet peace be upon him and I'll come to explain this historically and it's all written and documented in the seerah of the Prophet peace be upon him it says that the Prophet peace be upon him sent a messenger of course the Jews had backstabbed the Prophet peace be upon him in the Battle of Khandaq before that years before that that was the first backstabbing from the from the Jews but the second one from the Christians was the first one when they killed his messenger when the Prophet sent sent messengers to all the kings of the world telling them to come to Islam and, and believe that God's one some did some didn't but some killed the messengers and the ones who killed were the Arab Christians they killed the messengers and they had alliance with the Roman Empire they were allies with the Roman Empire when they killed that messenger they knew that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is going to retaliate so they they got an army together and they even called for that backup army and and their their treaty to be f fulfilled with the Roman Empire and send them the troops to help them and there was 200,000 non-believers that went to Mu'tah and the Prophet peace be upon him sent the only 3,000 soldiers and believe me when I say that it's all documented in Sira I'm not making this up he sent the only 3,000 soldiers to Mu'tah to confront them he didn't know that they're gonna be in these huge numbers but even though the Muslims fought them for seven days and they retreated and only I think 70 of the 3,000 were killed and the, the Christians were amazed on how 3,000 would fight 200,000 and not be wiped off the face of the earth basically and the Romans were in so much shock they wanted to send other troops to confront the Prophet peace be upon him and the, the, that verse 929 was revealed telling the, the Muslims to fight those who have these bad descriptions who have killed that messenger and fight him again and the Prophet peace be upon him sent his troops to Tabuk which is another area and that's where the those verses were revealed and, and he was amongst the soldiers at that time but he had 30,000 troops at that time and the Christians and the, and the Arab Christians and, and the Roman Empire they were they said if we couldn't beat the 3,000 how are we going to beat 30,000 and by the way another thing that Christians always like to say is that Muslims when they were weak they didn't fight but when they got strong they they started fighting which is not true because the Muslims were never ever the majority of of any battle always the enemies were were three times more uh, as much as, uh, as the Muslims and the Muslims except in one battle which was the battle of the conquest of Mecca they were they were more and they were a lot more than the unorganized troops of of uh, Mecca and that, that was the only one but when they lie and say that the Muslims were weak they didn't fight and when they became strong they started fighting that is a total lie now to the hadith of the Prophet peace be upon him which also uh, I, I just picked one to explain it because I if I sit there and explain all of them I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sitting here for uh, a whole week in Bukhari, Volume 1, Book 2, Number 24, the Prophet, peace be upon him, stated that